Arise, minions, and welcome to Unmade Gaming. We are here, we are back for episode 32 of The Rise. <clears throat> this one is called Plague of Despair. Um, and uh, as we, what? Uh, as we recall, we ended in some combat. So, uh, but before we get into that, as always, if you like what we do here and you want to support the channel like these wonderful fine folks here, uh, you can do so. The best way to do that is over on our Patreon. Link for that down below. While you're down there, click on that Discord link. Join us in the Discord. Be a part of the conversation. Be a part of the community. Uh, and as always, in the bottom right-hand corner, you will see the corruption bar. That bar serves two purposes. One is when that bar fills. Uh, I do things like explode an alchemy workbench uh, on my players. And two, uh, every single dollar that goes back into that bar goes back to this channel for all kinds of cool things like editing and art and supplies and mortgages. Um, you know, the huge. Uh, and uh, with that, let's jump right in. Previously on the rise. Making their way out of the city in secret, Korax, Salitz, Mina, and Antares headed north following the river, looking for the site marked on the Chrysarian maps. As the lands gently rise towards the mountain, the river, a, the river cuts through a valley. There, our godlings spot smoke rising up, leading to a small outpost manned by Chrysarian troops. A combat ensues. The device creating the smoke uh, begins to overheat, shake, and all at once a violent explosion erupts, sending multicolored flames in all directions. Let's transition for one of the first times ever in 32 episodes over to our combat scene so we can see the adorable artwork that I just spent an unnecessary amount of time um, finding on the internet. Um, you can see our our little battle map, uh, all of our all of our grumpy characters. <laughs> they all have angry little faces. Um, <laughs> typical, typical existential crisis, Mina. Yeah. Um, the first thing I need to happen is I need Korax and Antares to roll me. A D-100. For nothing bad to happen. Oh. Oh. Gee, you rolled the worst one. <laughs> uh, well, you rolled, you rolled the second worst one, I guess. Um, it's definitely up there. Um. Um. Um, nope. Uh, G, uh, as the, uh, the alchemy table explodes next to you, dousing you in, um, in, in alchemical whatever nonsense, um, you are affected by a curse, uh, an alchemical curse. Um, you lose access to the benefits of your divine shifts for... For one day. Um, Korax, Korax, on the other hand, um, far more comical, um, small animals and plants within short range wither and die for one day. <laughs> So all of the, you see all of the grass and plants and, and bugs and, uh, and anything else around you just start to wither away uh, in a, a <laughs> like a 10 foot, like a 15 foot radius is just dead around you in a circle. <laughs> um, I could not make this up. That is amazing. That is amazing. Um, fantastic. Uh, cool. Uh, that is that. Is that. Um, I, I believe... I believe your turns were mostly in front of the bad guys. I think you all had rolled uh, better than the bad guys. Um, so, uh, we'll start at the top of the order here. Um, and you guys, it is your turn. So anyone who succeeded the role previously, which I believe was all of you, uh, can go first uh, before any of the monsters can attack. Uh, 
Um, you don't. Excuse me. Uh, because as soon as you begin to say the words and you begin to um, uh, gesticulate wildly uh, with your book open, uh, nothing happens. Okay, uh, so your your entire action is to uh, panic in nerd. Perfect. I love that. Uh, I love that for you. Um, okay, uh, who would like to go next? Uh, you are near the commander. You leapt across the river and chased him down. Uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, the commander is, I forgot, I have, I have, uh, I have stats here. Um, the commander is a difficulty five. Gotcha. Perfect. 18, uh, and that, that absolutely beats it. Um, you would get a, uh, a bonus of, uh, two damage on this attack as well. Um, so what is your total damage here? 17? What the fuck? Fuck me. Uh, okay, so 17. He has armor uh, of 5, uh, so that makes that a 12. Holy shit balls. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. We did discuss that. Um, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens here. Uh, roll me a D100. Um. <laughs> oh God, the irony. I could not uh, describe this. I could not roll better things if I if I did this on purpose. Um, so you... <laughs> you leap across the river, um, uh, swiping up some of this concoction before it explodes, uh, and charging towards the commander. Um, and you you spear him as he's like running away. You get him like like directly through his shoulder blade uh, with your spear, um, and it stops him dead in his tracks. And before you can even take the spear back out, uh, in a clear blue sky, a bolt of blue lightning. <laughs> Strikes him, uh, dealing additional damage. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll call that, uh, uh, five additional damage on this guy. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, the, the, <laughs> the curse, the curse says the target is struck by lightning. <laughs> it's like... Fucking perfect. Um, out, out freaking standing. Uh, Antares and Sadlitz, you are up. Uh, well, I am sorry. Um, um, it's not, hmm, I, you're not muted, I, I will, uh, oh, shit, 
<laughs> you guys are muted on my end because um, I forgot I changed headsets. Um, <laughs> you can hear everybody now. Uh, Thanks, like, apparently, <laughs> I'm the only person talking. Uh, I, I'll fix that in the edit, I think. Um, <laughs> if I can remember how. Um, so what cool. I was saying is for for chat is that this is my nine to five role is unacceptable. I want to spend one my XP points to either to to re roll. That's what I'm putting it to. Uh, putting it to Mike here. Um. How many XP do you have? Just one. Just one. Um, hmm. How do I want to do this? I want to let this happen. Um, uh, yeah, let's, let's let it happen. Go ahead, spend your XP. This much, I'm going to re-roll and I get 100 or something. Uh, okay. XP. Spend your little XP, re-roll. Because what's the point of having resources if you can't spend them, right? That's true. 56. I haven't rolled yet. Oh, that's the other one. Sorry. Yeah. That's Mina. Yep. 60. 60. <laughs> you lose all your... No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you lose a lot for half a day. <laughs> well, shit. Touche. Roll 20. Touche. <sighs> Three of your fingers fall off, increasing the difficulty of tasks with your hands by one step. So Isn't all hand-related tasks. On one hand or two hands? Um, um, I'll let you decide. <laughs> Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Just I'll just do one hand because that's fucking. So crazy. here's what I'll say: because you spent XP for this, um, yeah. actually no. Here, here's what I'll say: um, if fucking Christ, if somebody wants to give you an XP to spend, I will let you choose between the two. Okay, so is it I lose my fingers permanently? Yeah, yeah, you lose oh. three fingers. The end. Plus one difficulty, I think, is worse than losing devices for a day. Easy. Yeah. Ah. No. But is, is it plus one difficulty for now? Because you'd learn to cope with that, right? Um, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say, I would say you'd learn to cope with it over time. Yeah. Yeah. But it would, but it would not be next wall. episode. Oh, this is coming back to bite me in the ass so hard. <laughs> <laughs> The dice giveth and the dice taketh away. What a time. Um, yeah, so if anyone wants to donate, I will let you choose um, uh, what you do. Um, Gee, if you want the choice, I will sacrifice my one and only XP. Down from the from 17 you had earlier. I used to have. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would take the fucking divine shifts after all, which is fucking stupid. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. Some, like of them, some of them are like, you summon additional monsters. One of them is like, you just fall asleep for three days. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you just mean up for three one. days. You're just out, out cold. It's up to you, Chris. Oh, I would God. prefer to take the, the divine chest. It's yours. Perfect. Thank you. That is, that is too fucking funny. Um... Okay, so you you lose your divine shifts for 20, 24 hours. Um, it is uh, either your turn or Salad's turn. Go Salad's. I took too much time, so. Okay. Well, picking up the fact that one crossbowman, which which crossbowman is the one that has fallen anyway? Uh, he's not on the map. Oh, he's not on the map. Yeah, I, I just didn't put one on there. Okay, there are five. And since they're on our flanks, I guess I'll take care of them. Okay. So I'm going to shoot the guy at the guys to my immediate right. Okay. Uh, they are a difficulty uh, three. Difficulty three. One divine shift. That is two. 
I just I feel like they were easier. I feel like they were harder last episode. Uh, no, yeah. the the bigger guys are harder, uh, and the other bigger guys are also harder. All uh, right, so that is a seventeen. So that's yep. uh, seven damage plus one because three damage from the divine shift. Yep. And uh, plus one. So right. seven damage plus one is eight damage. Okay, cool. Um, so the first one, you shoot the one closest to you, I imagine. Uh, he is still uh -huh. alive, but he is very badly damaged. Um, cool. Um, Antares, what would you like to do? Yeah, she's attacking the big dude that she was attacking before. Okay. Um, and what was his difficulty being... again? Uh, his difficulty is four. Sure. I'm putting an effort in the roll. Um, I don't have any ax assets to use. And the one you are attacking has taken damage. But not, oh, like from someone else? Because I know I only did like one point of damage. Uh, You did three points of damage. Are you sure? Because he has armor? Yep. Yeah. So, or, or someone, some combination of you has done three. Okay. Woohoo! Um, let me just add the commander real quick. He's So I put effort into my damage on that one. Okay. Uh, so you rolled an 18. Uh, damage is 7 uh, with the extra effort there. Um, cool. Okay, so you do 7 points of damage. Let me double check his uh, reanimated warrior. Uh, he has 3 armor, so you do another 4 damage to him. Um, boop, boop, boop. And in that. Uh, perfect. Okay. Uh, that is, that is your turn. Um, it is now their turns. Uh, the commander, uh, caught, uh, on his own is going to turn, uh, and attack Mina, uh, after you just lightning bolted him, uh, and stabbed him. Uh, so Mina, difficulty five, um, speed defense. Uh, you succeed. Uh, he misses. Um, fantastic. Uh, difficulty four speed defense for, um, for Antares. Speed defense, you said, sorry? Yeah. Yep. Four. Yes. Success. Success. He also misses you. Um, I will take a, uh, let's see. I will take a difficulty, a difficulty three, uh, speed defense, uh, two of them for, uh, say Uh, all right. Uh, sorry. What's the difficulty? I, I'm, I'm just looking at, at Terry's speed defense saying destroyer. Oh, that's her. That's her level. Uh, that's her, uh, her right. class, rather. No, I know, it's but... It's wrong. It's wrong. Oh, Destoyer. I get it. I got you. <laughs> um, difficulty <laughs> three, uh, speed defense. Two, difficulty three, speed defense. All right. Sorry. I don't know why that made me laugh. Uh, I don't have speed defense, so I just roll speed. Yep, so just roll straight speed. Let's see. That's a 20. Ooh. Damn. Okay, cool. Um, I will say Man. for a major effect on a on a dodge, um, I will give you two options. Either you can automatically succeed um, at the second one, uh, or you can still have to roll for the second one, but you'll get a free attack. I'm going to roll for the second one. <laughs> free attack's more fun. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Yeah, I was expecting something was coming. Outstanding. Um, okay, so make your free attack. Right. Roll the 20. <laughs> Come on. SG. Let's go. Oh, wow. I knew the dice were up to something. Wow. Dude, what are the odds of that? What are the odds? I think happened? it's like one Haven't in two hundred. To uh, yeah, I think I think it's like one in two hundred 
to roll the same number twice. Or okay. Was it, or was it Korax who did two <laughs> ones in a row? Shit. Uh, um, okay. Uh, I'm going to roll with it, Mike. Okay. I only got the one XP. Um, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, we were not expecting this. Uh, two, two nat ones here. Um, first 20, then two ones. You definitely dodge out of the way of the first one, and you, like, in, like, a cool fucking dodge roll, you fire the crossbow, and it sticks into, um, one of the arms of, uh, of one of the creatures, um, or not one of the creatures, one of the Chrysarian troops. Um, but it doesn't seem to be affected by it. Um, in fact, it seems to be absolutely okay with it. Um, so this is one of the uh one of the <laughs> one of the Nat ones. Uh you see it reach up and just sort of like wrench the arrow, but not out. Like it just like wrenches it up and down, like it's like pulling it apart, like levering it back and forth. Um and you see it continue going and continue going and continue going, uh, and then it pulls it out, and you hear a sickening pop um, as it does so. Um, and uh, <laughs> hold on, I'm a child. I'm a child who has access to the internet, uh, and I am not sorry about it. Um, you <laughs> hear a sickening pop, um, and uh, it it yanks it out, and with it uh, comes. It's hand. Um, uh, Norm, that is the appropriate response. Uh, you see the hand like flop, like it's uh, the whole arm just flop down and then it immediately picks back up and you see it like the thing, uh, like thing from Adam's family begin to start crawling uh, towards you, uh, which is actually uh, a, a, a suggested uh, GM intrusion from the book, um, uh, which is, this is now an additional level two zombie. Uh, that is here. For fuck's sake. Um, cool. Uh, so that happens on the first one. Um, the second one is you dodging this thing. Um, cool. Uh, what happens is uh, you fail to dodge so badly um, that you, like, you have lost sight of where you are. You're so concentrated on this uh, that you either, d you know, the the, sh the shot either hits you and sort of makes you stumble back um, or or you, 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 you move in a way that you come in contact with some of the viscous liquid that exploded out of here. Um, so you're going to take, um, let me see, you're going to take two damage uh, from the arrow, um, and roll me a d100. That two damage goes into the might pool, right? It does, minus your uh, minus any armor you might have. I don't have armor. Okay. Uh, unless it's like energy damage, because I do have the cloak. No, it's not. It's not. It's just regular shot with an arrow damage. Um, but then roll me a d100. Slash roll d100. Yep. I hope I entered that right. Five. Oh jeez. Uh okay. I'm just fine. imagining Salus does like a freaking Dark Souls roll I get away from the first one and the second guy's like huh, amateur. Um <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um you Looking at his you stumble back into some of this liquid, um, and you uh before you even know what you've done, your veins feel hot. Um and uh you feel like your mouth fill up with, uh, with the taste of pennies. Um, uh, and your vision sort of, um, uh, your vision sort of goes blurry uh, for a second. Uh, and as you like wipe your face, uh, your hand comes away red. Uh, you, you bleed from the mouth for one whole minute and you cannot speak during that time. Um, so you are silently bleeding from the mouth wow. as you uh, attempt to shoot people. Um, Jesus. Um, okay. That is their turns. Uh, I need, uh, let's see. I need one. Yeah, you're fighting the captain. Uh, I need three, uh, speed defense rolls, uh, at difficulty three from you, uh, Norm, from, from Mina. Right. Mina. Mina the impenetrable. 
Mm -hmm. Like I didn't get three, I, I get training in two assets. So I really only need going to roll a one to fail. So I'm just going to roll D20 rather than go through all the rig tomorrow. Sure. Uh, a six is a two, I believe. Uh, right? Yeah, I get, so it's difficulty three. I get one less for being trained and two assets from the shield. So that would be, diff I, I only need to beat difficulty zero. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, perfect. Um, yeah, so yeah, you succeed on all of them. The arrows, ting, 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 ting. They fly out um, ineffectual against your, your um, you know, your enormous godhood. Um, Wexy's shield saves me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that is that is that turn. Um, uh, did I attack you with the warrior G? Uh, did I didn't. Not. I did not. Um, cool. Uh, so a uh, difficulty four uh, speed defense uh, from the first warrior. Um, Can you do that, G? What? Mike, I'm pretty sure that in the last episode, Korax had cast the bubble of silence around mm -hmm. them. Oh. And that will decrease the difficulty of all defense rolls for myself and anyone in that bubble, which would be Antares by one Perfect. point. Perfect. Uh, so difficulty three uh, with uh, with a, a, a minus one from from uh, from Corex. Sorry, three minus one or four minus one. Sorry. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. Four minus one. Okay. So a difficulty three. Hmm. Mm. What Holy shit balls. Damn it. I'm like, should I spend effort? No, I won't spend effort. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. How <laughs> oh, mean Lord. do I want to be? Mm. Um so mean. Um, yeah, it's a GM intrusion, and you guys are knocking him out of the park today. Um, much like uh, Mina, perhaps learning from him, uh, this guy sweeps back with his blade, uh, and you see it touch the ground, and he scrapes it up the ground and slashes upward at you. Uh, and as you see it coming, you see flecks of liquid splash off the tip of his blade uh, as he has just dragged it through the alchemical solution. Um, so you're going to take... Uh, four points of damage minus any armor that you have, and roll me a d100. Damage. I want you guys to remember it was Korax's great idea to blow it up. I love it. Well, it was all of <laughs> our ideas. <laughs> no, I'm going to roll a fucking 60. Sailors did I'm not support roll. that idea at all. <laughs> you might roll a 95. Oh, even better. Uh, I mean, on the bright side, you can't lose your divine shifts anymore, and that's the same one. Ninety-five to ninety-nine is lose your divine oh. shifts. So, um, I okay. will, I will be merciful and not make you re-roll uh, since you already have that one. Well, um, to you, it just um, adds a day on yeah, the timer. Just, yeah, just make it two days instead of one. There you go. There you go. Same team, everybody. Um, <laughs> <laughs> turns out, turns out they're on my team, G. Uh, so you have no divine shifts for two days. Fucking Christ. Um, Corax. <laughs> Corax, um, difficulty four, uh, speed defense uh, against you, uh, minus the one from your bubble. Guilty. Four. I can't use effort. Uh, success, great. Um, so he swings his blade down towards you, um, and perhaps with your inert book now, you have some large shield to block with. Um, his attack is like, ineffective against your spell work. I like work. that visual. It's like, <laughs> no! Blocks it. <laughs> um, that is all of the bad guys' turns. Uh, well, your turns. It's all of you guys. Okay. Uh... So, Mike, I'd like to use an ability I haven't used before. It is called Steel Name. So against one of the two guys attacking Antares, and I'm probably the guy who's trying to attack Korax, because, okay. you know, protect yourself, screw everyone else. Um, so da -da -da -da, you can choose to steal the name of a living creature within short range by lifting it directly from the creature's thoughts. Uh, I'm assuming it goes against their difficulty. Uh, 
The affected target ceases taking actions for up to one min minute as it attempts to recall its name. Uh, okay, cool. I, I like that. Um, <laughs> I'm just wondering why G was doing the wave. Um, um, yeah, uh, so yeah, roll me, uh, difficulty four for that ability. Uh, difficulty four, I would imagine it would be intellect? Uh, yeah, it uses intellect, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's use some effort, because we want to succeed. Success. Nice. Okay, uh, you read his surface thoughts, uh, and his name is Aiden Shelley, and you have snatched that from his memory. Uh, and he is unable to do uh, anything for, what is it, one round, you said? Uh, one minute. One minute. And Hot damn. Attacks him. Okay, cool. Um, so he stands there dumbfounded as he tries to recall who he is as a person. Um, that is Korax's turn. Uh, clearly, Antares is bringing out some physical vengeance. Um, yeah. uh, with a 19 hits, uh, I assume you're doing the bonus damage? Yeah, I'll do 10 damage. Okay, cool. Uh, so 10 damage on this guy. Um, he was at this, so he is now... Oh, wait, he has, uh, he has three armor, so that's seven damage. Um, so that is this number. Cool. Um, you slash into him. You see pieces of his armor coming off. You see the mottled, like, pale-looking, uh, pallid skin beneath his armor. Uh, clearly, he is one of the reanimated... Uh, mm -hmm. Sadlitz, uh, you can still go, you just can't attack. I'm uh, sorry, you just can't talk. Uh, and Mina, you still have an action. That's fine. Don't think Sadlitz is going to talk anyway. Things have become a bit per things have become a bit heated now. So I'm going to... Mina attacks the Mina commander attack. again as well. Hits. Alright, I'm going to roll damage. a difficulty to speed roll real quick. Because, all right, nope, that doesn't work. Because on success, I gain fleet of, I can use my fleet of foot ability to both gotcha. move and take an action. Gotcha, okay. So, that's a fail. So, I am deciding. I am going to get away from all this viscous fluid and move up the hill. That's fair. And get a height advantage. Further away from the goo that makes you guys die. Uh, mm -hmm. Love that. Um, so you can see him just kind of look glaring at the uh, crossbowman and spitting blood out of his mouth. Just drooling blood. Like an Andrew WK poster. Um, G, you had a question? Um, yeah. Is, the, is the, the kiln thing, like the oven thing, is that like destroyed? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so basically Korax had closed... Um, the mm -hmm. lid and like pressurized it, um, yeah. and so the pressure built up and like the whole top half blew up. Okay. Um, so it is uh, it is exploded. Whatever it was doing, it is no longer doing. Uh, the crates shattered around it. Um, there are still crates on the other side with the sleen and the 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 tor, tor, tor taran, um mm -hmm. over there. The, the 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 essentially the slaves that are are over there um, uh, that are cowering. Um, but the device that was producing the smoke is now billowing a different kind of smoke because it exploded. Uh, but the device is no longer functioning. Um, that is everyone's turn. Um, let's see. Uh, this hand is going to uh, move up towards Sailitz, but that's all it can do. Uh, Sailitz, I need two uh, difficulty three speed defense from you. One. I also need three of those for Mina. Okay, arrows. You have the high ground as one Obadias one, Kenobi would say. Um, uh, they are ineffective at shooting at you. Success, success. Uh, success, uh, as long as you didn't roll a zero or a one, you are good. Uh, the arrows ting, 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 ting off your shield and pauldrons and your sweet spear maneuvers. Uh, I will also, since you're already rolling, uh, I will also take a difficulty four speed defense from you, um, uh, Mina. 
Oh, sorry, difficulty yeah. five. I'm sorry. Eh. All right, great. And my tendency to forget to read my own abilities is biting me again because I forget. All right, I have two divine shifts and dexterity. Which means all these speed defenses are actually difficulty one, not like it really matters. Oh, yeah. I mean, unfortunately, you the, the one you missed it were in that one. Yeah. No, um, so it cool. Really uh, so the the commander swings his uh, his sword at you, ineffectual, uh, bouncing off of um, the the Jund shield. Um, the uh, uh, Aiden Shelley just stands there, dumbfounded. Uh, forgetting who he is as a person, uh, and the other unnamed warrior uh, attacks uh, Antares. So difficulty four, uh, speed defense, please. <laughs> Success. You redouble your effort and block his sword attack with your sword. Uh, you see that the the viscous uh, uh, liquid has has completely drained from his uh, from his sword. Um, that is their attacks. Uh, it is all of you guys again. I just have a question quickly. Just about my because I'm, I'm putting an effort in, uh, just one effort into the, into this. So that should cost me three, correct? Less your edge. Minus my edge is only going to cost me one. So I just saying like it keeps saying two. My cost is two. Where? How many edge are you spending? How many effort are you spending? Just one effort, and I have two edge. So it should only cost me one. Yep. Yes. Okay. So I don't know why it's saying it needs armor. For some reason, it's the, the initial cost is four. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah, because of yeah. armor. Your armor cost is one. Are you oh yeah. Trained in oh. armor use. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have the ability trained in armor, do you? Uh, no. Then that's why. Yep. That's why. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Every, it what it makes it makes those uh one one harder. Yeah. Um, but gives you the actual ability to use armor. Shield do the same thing, I believe. Um, cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, solved it. Uh, it is all of your turns collectively. Gee, I'm gonna jump in front of you again, if that's okay. No. Yeah. Go uh, ahead. Cor Corax when he. Stole the name would have been sort of down with his book, trying to deflect that sh that previous sword attack. Uh, he drops the book on the floor, and he's going to dive and try and grab the legs of the guy that Antares is fighting. Okay, so while are he's you... crouched down, he's jumping to grab his legs. Are you attempting to tackle or attempting to hold in place? Um, is that very different when you're a scrawny nerd? Um. <laughs> book, book note it's not going to tackle him down but book note's going to try and hold his leg so he can't yeah like, no i guess you're correct it's properly. not it's the same thing um okay uh <laughs> outstanding um um roll let me see let me just double check something here um blah, 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 blah. i don't have anything i got an asset because he's cool. distracted um i i i'll give you that i'll give you an asset because he's not expecting the nerd to fucking barrel roll into his legs. Um, so yeah, I'll give you an asset. Uh, difficulty is going to be uh, a difficulty for might, uh, might check um, with one asset for distraction. I don't want to use effort because Korax will die. Uh, one. Success. <laughs> <laughs> wow, good job. Um, okay, cool. You successfully do this, and because I forget to do this all the time, um, I'm going to offer you a GM intrusion. Uh, you can take the GM intrusion, which is, uh, you just took a belly flop into alchemical fluid, uh, or you can spend an XP and stop me. I don't have any XP. You want a D100, Mike? All righty. Uh, so one XP for you and one XP for whoever you want, and go ahead and roll me that D100. Can you take an XP? Because I know you've got none either. <laughs> Thank you. Why? The face Norm Ooh. just made of like, oh God, why? Why why are these my companions? I'm so glad I'm across the ocean. <laughs> um, you also, you, you, perhaps it is the impact, uh, but you dive towards this guy's knees, miss, hit him in the shins, uh, but you still get him. Uh, and the force of the impact um, uh, maybe you don't realize you've landed in some of the alchemical solution, but you too begin to bleed from the mouth and you can no longer speak. 
for one Korax whole would assume that's because he took a knee to the chin. Yeah. That's his that's assumption. Fair. That's fair. That's a fair assumption. For one whole minute, you cannot speak, uh, and you continuously bleed from your oral cavity. Uh, Antares, Mina, and Sadlitz, you are still up. What would you guys like to do? You're going to attack this dude. Does it give him uh, Antares a... It does. Asset? It will give you one asset because he is off balance, we'll say. Okay. So he's still difficulty four, right? He oh, is okay. difficulty four, but you have one asset for off balance uh, and then whatever other... Oh, well, you don't have to find shifts. Sorry. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Success. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm so clever. Oh, don't die. Don't divide shifts. <laughs> <laughs> I love to be such a Oh, golly. Yeah, she's Gene not a Willikers. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> she leaves the Patreon. <laughs> she's fucking done. <laughs> uh, seven damage turns to four after the armor. He is still up, but he, as far as undead go, he looks like he's pretty hurting. Um, uh, that is your turn, uh, Sadlitz and Mina. What are you guys doing? Oh, God. She's going to kill um, me. Mina will continue to take on this commander. Okay. Sadlitz will continue to shoot crossbow bolts at these guys. <laughs> Actually, how close is the hand? Um, it is cl cl uh, crawling up the bushes and, and hillside towards you. So I'm very. going to shoot the hand. Okay, oh, uh, difficulty hand. two on the hand. Um, Mina the rolls seven damage minus his armor. Oh, 15 man. damage, sorry. Oh, did it not show up correctly? No. Uh, I rolled, rolled a seven. seven. Oh, damage shit. Is damage 15. is 15. Uh, describe how you kill the commander. Um, I think the commander looks haughtily with his uh, fancy hat, and Mina just mm. drives his spear through the fancy hat, so it's no longer fancy. Uh, it is, it's, it's no longer fancy and it's barely a hat at this point. Um, you spear through his hat, uh, into his face and he, uh, with a sickening, uh, he falls off the end of your spear, uh, re-dead. Um, cool. That's him. The re-deadening. <laughs> so, uh, this is just for my knowledge. How much damage does adding effort to damage give? Uh, uh three? Yeah. Yeah, three. It's a it's a tier of advancement. Right, I'm just curious. Do I really just outright want to murder this hand? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, unless you can befriend it and make it a All pet. Right. I mean, that I will say damage to the hand. Uh, you murder the hand. The hand is dead. The um, hand is... jumps up and it gets shot through and bolted to a tree. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, cool. Uh, it dies heartily. Um, uh, while we're at it, that is everyone's attack. So two uh, speed defense for... Uh, actually, one speed defense for Sadlitz uh, and one speed defense for um, uh, 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 Korax. Uh, Korax, I... I am going to make yours uh, a difficulty four. Uh, so difficulty three for Salem, difficulty four for Korax. Uh, you are a laying down target and therefore far easier to hit um, uh, with a crossbow at, at 15 feet away. Uh, perfect. Uh, and for... That's a difficulty one. Okay, so success for Cor uh, sorry, for success for Sadlitz. Uh Corax, you take two points of damage uh, as you feel uh, a crossbow bolt stick into your ass because um, you are your top half is covered by Antares. Um, uh, I'll say two more of those uh, for Sadlitz. Not Sadlitz. I'm sorry for uh, Mina. Uh, and Mina, you see the other one near you run up towards you, sort of throws the crossbow down uh, and pulls out a sword. Uh, so a, a third one for that one. Success on all accounts. Um, they do not seem to be able to hit you. Uh, that is their turn. Um, the other guy still hasn't remembered his name. Uh, and the other guy, what a fucking spell that is. Uh, and the other guy attacks, uh, and Terry's, uh, a difficulty, uh, four, uh, and I will give you an asset for, uh, Korax. 
Okay. Uh, difficulty four. It's hard to swing your arms when you have a grumpy toddler on your legs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shit. Um, yeah, you absolutely uh, dodge out of the way of that. Uh, unfortunately, no bonus additional damage there. Uh, but that is the end of the enemy combatant turns. Uh, it is your collective turns as a group. Uh, okay. I'm using one of my abilities. Mm. Uh, holy crap. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. That's what I want. Uh, my da -da -da. I'm using my ability Surging Confidence. I'm going to make a recovery roll, and I get one action immediately after. Okay. Let's go. Three points, that's it. Fuck. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to take, whoop. And I'm going to take an attack on this dude. Again, difficulty for uh, effort one. Uh, asset one, because yep, he's- because of Corex, yep. Yeah, and effort to my damage. Again, woohoo. <laughs> Damn. Uh, you get one bonus damage on top of that, though. So uh, a yep. total of eight damage uh, minus his armor, uh, which I keep clicking on you, uh, which is three. Uh, describe to me how you kill this guy. Um, and he said he's like a big dude. Uh, he is bigger than the guys with crossbows. He's definitely like a like a like a full warrior. Okay. Yeah. So I think she with Korax grappling onto his leg. I think she. She does like a a spin move, and she ducks down to do to dodge his attack uh, that he made on her. And then as she's ducking, she spins and she just brings the knife around. And as she comes around, she goes up like that and just like slices him up to the from like his navel to his chin. Great, absolutely. Uh, he is super dead, uh, and he falls. Uh, you see him start to topple, uh, but because his legs are cinched like an AT-AT, um, uh, he is cinched down, and he topples backwards uh, over Corax um, uh, and splashes into some of the alchemical fluid, and, and if Corax lets go, he will roll into the water. Um, cool. That is Antares' turn. That's it. You went first. Um, mm -hmm. so who else would like to go? Uh, this guy that ran up to me is difficulty three? He's difficulty three, correct. Uh, describe to me how you kill him. Holy crap. <laughs> um, so Mina is, turns to see this guy approach and definitely dodges the uh, attack and just um, swings the spear around as he turns and just slices straight across the chest of this guy, gouging uh, out flesh and bone as he goes. Yeah, uh, it is gross. Uh, his his uh, As you do so, you notice that his blood is like thicker and coagulated um, as he is not uh, alive in the same sense, uh, as he crumples to the ground uh, with a Wilhelm scream uh, and is... In fact, no more. Um, that brings us to Sadlitz and Korax. Korax, you are laying on the ground in a puddle of fluid, um, and there is a corpse that is uh, around you. Uh, the other guy is still remembering his name. Sadlitz is um, going to finish off the guy whose hand fell off. Okay. Attempt to. Shoot him with a difficulty three for me. Three that makes it two. Actually, uh, man, I need to wake up. Uh, four plus three from divine shifts, so seven damage. Uh, describe how you kill him. Say, let's in a rather fit of rage, really, kind of just spits the blood you can see him kind of like trying to yell something but it's just blood coming out of his mouth 
after he shoots the hand, and he shoots this crossbow bolt, and it goes flying in with such force that it hits the dude's, like, neck vertebrae and chops his head off. (laughs) Damn. (laughs) <laughs> All right, absolutely. Uh, and he crumples uh, in a pile. Um, his his uh, what's left of his like dangling shoulder and bicep is is extended towards where his arm uh, is as he falls. Um, uh, he is dead. Uh, Corax, what about you? Hi, Mike. Quick question: um, yeah. How does armor work? Because I took two damage, um, but I have a spell weave cloak and something that gives me plus one armor permanently. Uh, it is damage armor. minus your armor equals damage taken. Okay, so because the spell weave cloak is two armor and I have something that gives me another plus one, would that have been zero? Uh, yeah, you have three armor two. Uh, totally. Yeah. Uh, so that would be a two damage. It would negate it. Okay, perfect. So you took no damage. Right. Korax rolls over, um, gets back up, and gets behind uh, poor Aiden, uh, Aiden Shelley. And he's going to grab him behind the arms. Uh, so it's sort of his arms are behind his back. Um, and he's going to hold him there for Antares. Okay. Um, I will say he can't do anything to stop you. Um, uh, but I will remind you that the moment some he is attacked, that that uh, remembering the name thing wears off. Um, yep. Cool. Uh, he's basically so you, readying him for Antares to attack. Yeah. Uh, so you have an asset on that attack, uh, Antares? Um, uh, that is Korax's turn, Sid's turn, Mina's turn, uh, and I think that was, you, you attacked that guy first, right? Uh, G, yeah, you, you went first. Uh, no, I haven't attacked Aiden yet. <laughs> no, you attacked the other guy. You killed him this oh, round. yes, yeah. correct. Um, so it, it is their turns. Uh, Aiden does nothing because he can do nothing. Um, Sadlitz, uh, an arrow comes towards you, so a difficulty three, um, uh, attack here. Um... Uh, Mina, you see another one of the guys charging towards you. Um, unfortunately he can get to you, but cannot attack you in this round. Um, and you see the other guy, um, uh, like as you're looking at the guy charging towards you, Mina, you see the other guy looking around, uh, clearly assessing the situation and you see him fuck off. Um, and he is out of there. Uh, he is running as fast as he can, uh, in a different direction. Uh, away from you guys. Uh, you know that he's war- he's running on the opposite side of the river from where you started, uh, but he is running in a generally southeastern direction, vaguely in the direction of Samora, um, but but not a straight line uh, as he fucks off out of there. Um, speed, success, the arrow phew, flies wide, uh, unable to get a bead on you, uh, Sadlitz. That is their turn. Uh, top of the order. Uh, whoever would like to go first. I will go. Oh, great with my sheet. Uh... So, who is the guy trying to screw off? Uh, the guy in the bottom, bottom left. Uh, he's way too. He's way too far. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mike. Is yes. it possible for G to miss this attack since Aiden is completely defenseless? Uh, it is, is not possible there. for her to miss the attack, but it is possible for her to roll a GM intrusion. Yeah. Don't do that, G. Thanks. <laughs> if only you told her that before. Yeah. So Hello, right? He's still a difficult. Yeah, don't, diffi- don't roll your ones, guys. Uh, he <laughs> is. Uh, yeah, because it's uh, well. Hmm. Because he can't, what, what is the, what is the remember your name thing? How does it exactly work? Does it say he can't attack or he can't do anything? Can't do anything. He just sits there trying to remember his name. Um, yeah, I'll say it's difficulty zero. Uh, so just don't roll a one. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> no, I'm spending my XP. I'm spending my XP. <laughs> I'm spending my XP to undo that. Okay. Is that a re-roll or just cancel the GM intrusion? That's a re-roll. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I mean, you could always roll a second one. Oh, fucking A. <laughs> yeah. I could also do that, you <laughs> motherfuckers. Oh my god. Big T. Oh my goodness. Um outstanding. Um so you do uh ten damage um uh minus its armor uh is seven damage. Seven. Cool. Uh you stab into the sky um and uh you see like it's it's his 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 eyes were kind of like in a fog, like uh, as if trying to recall a dream. He's kind of like looking off into the middle distance. Uh, and as soon as you stab him with your blade, his eyes laser focused towards you uh, as if he had no idea what the hell was happening and was caught in a daydream until you stabbed him out of it. Uh, but that is your turn. Uh, and you, uh, Korax, you immediately feel him struggle against your arms. Um, uh, Korax, Mina, and Sadlitz, you still have an action. I still have a guy to shoot, and That's I true. am going to shoot him. All right, difficulty three. Effort to damage. Uh, uh, ten more damage. Perfect. Um, because you have a divine shift in the crossbow, right? Yeah. Uh, cool. So uh, ten. Why it's a difficulty two, not a three. Yeah, 10 damage minus its armor uh, is 8 damage. Um, it is still kicking, but barely doing that. Um, Korax and Mina, what are you two up to? Uh, Mina will attack the final bowman. Okay. I get the feeling these guys only have 10 health. Uh, the little guys do. Uh, 12 success, uh, 18 damage. Describe how you kill that guy. Uh, yeah, so Mina hears him coming up behind him, um, suspecting an attack, turns quickly and just pushes his spear literally through the guts of this guy, impaling Perfect. and disemboweling him at the same time. Love that. Uh, you pull the blade, the, the spear back out with like a wet sucking noise and entrails leak out of his front. Uh, you assume his back as well uh, as he is gone. Uh, he is returned to unlife. Um, that is, uh, that is Mina's turn, Silas' turn, Korax. Uh, all Korax is doing is trying to stop this guy from defending himself. So he's going to keep trying to hold him, uh, as best his little weedy nermit arms can do. Uh, okay, great. Uh, so for this, it's going to be a difficulty for, uh, might task. Failure. Okay. Um, he breaks an arm free and sort of shoves you back. Uh, you stumble back a, a, a pace or so, uh, but don't you don't you don't like fall down into the vat or anything like that. Um, uh, that is your turn. That is everyone's turn. Um, the attacking guy, uh, the, this guy is actually gonna swing on on you. Uh, you've been you've been fucking things up for him. Um, so he's going to take an attack on you, uh, Korax. So difficulty for speed defense. So he uh, kind of gives you a defense. shove and then immediately slashes out towards you. Oh, difficulty for no speed, you said, yep. Yep. I get one asset for the bubble. Success. Success. Absolutely, wow. yeah. So uh, it like almost slows down as you can see him like telegraph this move and you quickly move out of the way. Uh, that is his turn. Um, uh, the other crossbowman looks around at his surroundings and he starts to fuck off. Uh, still within range of you, Sadlitz, uh, but the other guy has fucked off entirely. Um, so he is, he is no longer here. Put a little runaway symbol on him. Um, uh, that is his turn. Um, um, cool. Uh, that is his turn. He is fucking off into the distance. The other guy is trying to do so. Uh, that is all of the people left. Uh, so top of the order. Um, Sadlet's blood is no longer pouring out of your mouth. 
uh, the sound bubble. Uh, all of a sudden, for Korax and um, uh, and Terry's, a rush of sound hits your ears. Uh, the brook, the explosion, the crackling fire, the the boiling acid sound of the um, potions and whatnot as sound rushes back in. Uh, but top of the order, anyone who would like to go Don't first may go the first. Speed check. I was checking if I could do fleet of foot again. Gotcha. Nope. I am going. This guy is not going to f off, or he oh, is, or or is he, <laughs> or is he? Is the question. Um, yeah. Uh, so you fire an arrow towards him. Uh, you contemplate running the down the hill. Uh, what's that? The distance made it miss. Yeah. Uh, you con consider running, running down, down the hill. hill. The distance. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, you you would consider running down the hill, fire your crossbow uh, in a moment of indecision, and it is uh, flies wide. Um, that is Salus's turn. Uh, Korax, Mina, and and Terry's. This guy who he turned to attack Korax, putting his back to me in theory. Could I still get an asset on that? Uh, uh, I don't believe there's actually assets for, uh, or at least I have not done them already. Uh, for okay. for flanking, um, because right, I'm a monster and I, I hate flanking. Um, yeah. So you do not, but you don't need one. Um, clearly, uh, clearly. So another ten points of damage on this guy minus his armor is yep. seven points of damage, making me do math, uh, which is that many. Uh, cool. Uh, he looks rough as you stab him in the back. Um, what a what a savage attack. Um, Korax and Mina, what are you up to? She seems to be fighting with a little bit more vigor now. Like, she's like, just like her little avatar there. Is it vigor or blind rage? <laughs> uh, not blind rage. Mm, Well-directed range? Uh, rage? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's directed down the blade of her sword. <laughs> yeah. Destroyer rage? <laughs> yeah. Mina will quickly assess the battlefield. Uh, seeing no one else on his side here, we'll cross back to where the others are still fighting. Okay. Um, you should have control of your little dude, so you can uh, you can make it over there, but you're unable to attack uh, on this turn. Um, uh, Korax, it is you. So Korax doesn't, didn't realize that the blood pouring out of his mouth and the curse, or whatever it was, wouldn't allow him to speak, so he tries... Uh, in vain to cast one of his spells that requires speaking. And as he gurgles and spits out the blood, he start, he backs away from this guy a little bit and then casts a different spell with his hands. Uh, resonance field. Um, as this guy looks at him, these faint blue lines shoot, start shooting over Korax's body um, and just form like a, a, a very skin-tight barrier around him. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, it's like it's like every time you open your mouth, it's like you're trying to talk with a cup of water uh, just in your mouth, uh, a cup of penny tinged water. Um, so you gain armor uh, over yourself with your resonance field. Uh, that is everyone's turn, mm -hmm. uh, I believe. Um, uh, this guy successfully uh, fucks off. Uh, so we'll put a little shoe symbol on him. He is gone. Um, uh, the other guy weighs his options, sees that you can see him looking around, um, and he is just going to stick this out. Uh, there's no, there's no getting away for him. Um, so he, uh, does not see the magic and stabs out at Korax, looking like the easiest target. Uh, so difficulty four, uh, speed defense. Hot damn. Um, okay. Uh, he does, I think you have more than enough armor. Uh, he does four, four points Correct. of damage. Like point of damage uh, he yeah, does he'll take one point of damage. damage though. Okay. Um, what does resonance field do? So resonance field, uh, da -da -da -da. when a creature with an immediate range makes attack, uh, uh, I attempt to block it if I succeed. Oh, okay. So you did not succeed. Uh, yeah, if, if I succeed and get a minor effect, they take damage. If I get a major effect, they take damage. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. gotcha. Um, okay, cool. So you take one point of damage as he slashes towards you, uh, putting you on the defensive again. Uh, that is his turn. That's it for him. 
<laughs> Everyone else, would you like to collectively... Actually, you know what? I'm going to say the amount of damage you guys are dealing is stupid. Um, so, um, uh... <laughs> Sorry, Corex, but it's so fitting. Uh, everyone who's not Corex, please describe to me how you collectively kill this guy. Taylor's doesn't. Okay. Taylor's is yelling at the guy running away, shouting how he can't believe how an undead is such a coward. I, That's I fair. Imagine, I imagine when Mina comes up, like Mina's arriving just at the moment that uh, that uh, and Terry's is attacking, and so it's like a it's like um, a synchronized. Uh, thrust. <laughs> Mike, uh, I'm trying to get him into coming back. Um, so, uh, both of them he... are just like <laughs> into this guy, and then they yeah. the spear and I don't know her sword probably wouldn't, but the spear goes like right through him, and then Corax gets like <laughs> yeah, covered this, in the blood. Spear, the spear and the sh the sword cross, and then the blood just forms a nice heart on the other end of the. Uh, in, coming through his back. <laughs> perfect, perfect. It's that. It's that. Um. Uh, it's that. It's that scene from Three Hundred where the two like, and the camera yeah. follows the blades out the back and like blood blood sprays in an arc. Um. Absolutely. Um. And the cork's like my mouth was open. <laughs> oh my god! Why is it so chunky? Um. Uh. Say, let's, if you if you're trying to taunt him back, it's going to be. Um, it's going to be a difficulty six, um, intellect. Um, let me see. Do you have any, do you have any I, inabilities? Five intellect left. Um, uh, da, 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 da. because that's the pool I've been stealing all my effort out of. Excuse me. Out of your, stealing all your effort out of, for what? Intellect. Every time oh, you pass. when you oh, so let me clarify. When you roll, um, like if you roll like to shoot, that's a speed. Uh, so if you spend effort, it comes out of that yeah, pool. It's only like um, so it only spirit. comes out. Of, so if you're if you're swinging with your sword, uh, it comes out of uh, your might pool. If you're swinging with your 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 arrows or guns, it comes out of your speed pool. Um, and if you're swinging with your mind, it comes out of your intellect pool. Um, <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, you can, same. you can attempt to make a difficulty six, uh, I, uh, intellect to try to convince him to stay. Yeah. Let's see if you can. See. We're uh, friends. See if you can, uh, you know, uh, uh, apply to his pride. <laughs> Fuck me running. <laughs> Fuck me running. Um, um, he stops, takes a few paces, uh, and and, and <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, uh, you hear, uh, you hear. I'll show you. Uh, and he fires his crossbow, knowing that it's nowhere near uh, going to hit you. Uh, and a bolt Bring just it on. A, a bolt just flies wide. Um, as as Korax, Mina, and uh, and Antares realize that there's still a fight, despite their celebration, there is still apparently a bit of a one on one uh, outside happening over there uh, in the corner uh, through the shouting. Uh, but that guy turns around and and does in fact stay. Um, Jesus Christ. Um, let me take off his little runaway shoe. Um, cool. Uh, that was his, that was the Sailor's turn immediately followed by his turn. Uh, so top of the order, anyone who wants to do anything to this guy. Um, well, I'm not, check. I'm not, yes, running. I'm running towards him. The <laughs> short distance shooting at him once I get as close as I Go can. Go for it. I'm not running towards him, but I am, something is going to ha uh, happen to Antares. Uh, just because she has lost her divine shifts. Mm -hmm. So oh, come on. after the synchronized thrust from Mina and, and Terry's, um, as she as she pulls back, um, it's kind of like she like staggers, like she's gone weak. Mm. And she kind of like uh, kind of stumbles and falls against Mina, and like kind of goes down on like one knee. Okay, um, so Mina and Terry stumbles focused. into you. Because I was still um, running. Yeah, so Mina looks over his shoulder at uh, Sadlitz having his quarrel, pun intended. Um, 
<laughs> and assumes that Sadlitz has got this, and he just catches Antares and pulls her away from all the goo and stuff. Uh, uh, and yeah. kind of looks she, at Gorex and, and says, she's what? like, oh, something, something's wrong. Uh, did, and she like looks at her. She like looks at her hand, like she's confused. <laughs> Uh, Mina just looks at me. Did did you swallow some of it? No. I I feel. Mike, I do you want me to just roll wrong. in the background? Yeah, sure. I just so... feel wrong. Ugh. Uh, uh, Mina looks up at Corex. Um, what what happened? I I was on the other side. I didn't see. Just assuming he's gonna attack me. So. Uh, Corex has turned after the. Crossing of the spears, and you can see him throwing up blood into the pool of stuff behind. Oh my gosh, the game does not. Less, it's it's this it's guy. less less throwing up blood, and just when he opens his mouth, a fountain of blood, like a faucet of blood, just runs out of him. Like, yeah, <laughs> easily pints per yeah. thirty. A, a pint every thirty seconds is just flowing yeah. out of his mouth. Mina just looks so confused. It says, uh, "We, uh, Jesus Christ, we, we, we need to let, <laughs> we need to, we need to let these people out. A, a year to. I'm fine. Capable. I'm fine. Go, go. I'm fine. All right, seven damage. I'm assuming he's dead. He does die. Um, yeah. Hey, you, you guys hear it continued like twang, soup, twang, soup, twang, soup uh, of arrows <laughs> just it. flying oh, in the distance. Yeah." <laughs> Followed by very angry words being shouted back and forth. It's like, hey, what's your name? Tony! Fuck you, Tony! What's your name? Ezekiel! Fuck you, Ezekiel! I'm not your buddy, buddy! Oh, god damn it. What a day. What a day I'm this is. Um, all right, he is dead. Uh, the other guy is dead as well. Um... <laughs> for fuck's sake um okay cool uh everyone is dead or gone um uh yeah Korax is vomiting into the water uh Korax um uh you notice as you're vomiting into the water uh that the water where you are vomiting is not exactly water colored um in that it is not a crystal clear you know bluish stream um and that the Ooh. um the liquid from the explosion is still seeping in um, uh, into the river uh, in some capacity. Not being poured with intention, um, just like it's not being combined with intention, uh, but there is still, like, that oil slick of, of liquid flowing into the river. Kind of like we did what they were going to do, but better. Or worse. Um, or differently. Uh, you know? <laughs> Who knows? It's either the same or it's different. Yep. Or worse. <laughs> uh, absolutely. I, I imagine Korax eventually stops because uh, he had one more round of, of yeah. blood. And he, he wipes his mouth, shakes his hand, and goes, I caught a, caught a knee to the face, but this is this is bad. We, we need to stop this somehow. We need to get downriver. And he At turns to, to start prepping to go downriver. As Sadlitz returns to the party, you see he's also caked in blood down his front from his, strangely from his mouth, and it looks the same way as, uh, as Korax. Uh, and as Korax says that, you see that there's no blood around his nose. <laughs> there is Did you say that too? She says that to Antares and Mina, but out loud. And he's going to start making his way down the river. And the blood is gone? Mm-hmm. Well, it's not, he's not a faucet anymore. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like she doesn't hear him at first, and she's, um, uh, she, see, she puts her sword away, and she's, like, been looking at her hands, and just, like, thinking, <laughs> like, and just, like, trying to figure out what this sensation is, and it's, like, uh, the, the, the sounds of everything kind of falls away for a moment, like, everything becomes muted, and then she just 
she when she looks up at Korax because she can hear him mumbling over like through the din of, of the the silence. And for this, as soon as she looks up, she just gets a flash of of um. Eltain and, and Rastaban just turning and looking at her just for a flash of a second. And then it, it she comes back and then she she realizes what has happened. That she's lost the thing that separated her from the favored. And so she feels like she's taken a step back towards them. So You're the dreaded normie now. Yeah, I'm the pleb. Yeah. Once yeah. again. <laughs> What's it feel like to be so average? God. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was, still, I was still <laughs> rolling pretty good despite <laughs> everything. So yeah. Um So as as you come to uh and as like Salitz joins the party, um there is a a uh slowly less and less blood filled response from Korax and he begins walking uh, walking southbound down the river. Well, where are you, you going? Follow him. Oh, actually, can you follow him, follow him so he like doesn't a cause himself trouble? Sorry, what, Chris? He's walking with purpose. He's not strolling. Yeah, where are you going? We need to stop the stuff flowing down the river. It's going to Samora. It's in the river. There's, there's prisoners on the other side. We need to free these people first. I'm Horace coming. Doesn't stop. Yeah, she'll. She will run after. Uh, she'll run across the water to help Mina. Okay. Um, you see, there are a bunch of Taran and Sleen. Um, so, uh, snake people uh, and large. Um, uh, large, brutish, um, blind, um, uh, with like like almost leonine kind of faces, uh, with like a, a, a protruding snout, um, uh, that are all hunkered down in various uh, areas on the opposite side of the river. Um, they are each, uh, there's two sets of them in a chain gang. Um, mm -hmm. And you begin to free them from, uh, from said chains. Um, they are... Uh, they are relatively thankful. I mean, they're they're still scared shitless, and they don't know who the hell you are. Um, you just seem to be the stronger person uh, than their captives. Uh, you could be new captives for all they know. But they get up and they like mostly huddle together. Um, and one of the Sleen sort of um, ambles out of the of the pack, and it, it like it, it doesn't quite bow its body, but it bows its head. Um, uh, and as it rises, it, it, its head raises, it says, "Thank you." Um, we, I take we have, it you're the one in charge then? I, it looks you back. Step forward, so you volunteered. Uh, I, I, if, if that's your, if that's your demand, then yes. You're the one who stepped forward, so I guess We're not volunteer. demanding anything. <sighs> Get as far away from here as you can, is all I can tell you. Is... Is where is safe? Is Samora safe? No, no. Samora is sieged. Um, a, a lot of refugees went to Tunabar Holdfast. If you could get there, uh, you see, it's it's uh, slitted eyes go wide when you say that uh, Samora has been besieged. Uh, you get the assumption that uh, this is the first time they're hearing of that. Um, uh, it turns around. It turns its head around, um, uh, and you can see everyone sort of murmuring in in some sort of agreement about Tunabar Holdfast. Um, and the the Selene looks to you again, uh, and he 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 bows a second time, and he says, "Thank you. Uh, we will um, uh, pick up some of the f weapons from the fallen if you can. Um, that trek's gonna be long. You're gonna need to hunt for food." He nods again, uh, and you see several of the of the Sleen and Taren uh, begin to like pull uh, the crossbows uh, off of the people that are around them. Um, one of them picks up a sword, uh, and they all sort of uh, not quite form ranks, but they they all form into like a a huddle. Taylor, um, uh, can I confer a blessing as the god of the hunt on these people? Ooh, um, 
Yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, describe to me what that looks like, what you do, and how you confer the blessing on them. Salitz is going to take his crossbow, and you can kind of see it light up a bit, as if it's, you know, kind of glowing. Did y'all lose me? Uh, no, we still got you. You're just not moving your face. My Here. screen's fro. My room's frozen for some reason. We can still hear you, though. <laughs> Sick. Yay for cameras. All right. And the crossbow lights up, and he kind of does this thing with it and shoots an arrow into the air and it like sparkles and pops and it shows kind of the Im it shows kind of an image of the fox from his nimbus and kind of conforms into a little light creature that sits on the shoulder of the leader and use this as your guide uh they are in awe of this display of magic um they don't understand what's happening uh, but you did just kill the shit out of their captors, um, and then you just shot a laser fox out of the air. Um, so they are more than happy to take <laughs> you at your word exactly. Um, they they um, uh, uh, profusely um, uh, thank you all, um, and you see them. Um, uh, you see them uh, at, at. I assume all of the three of you are, are sort of there collectively. Um, they begin to like rummage through their person, um, and they obviously they don't have coin or anything like that. But they leave trinkets. Uh, they place trinkets in like a pile, uh, uh, like unceremoniously on the ground. Uh, like you see, like a a, a beaded bracelet, um, like a, a tooth of some kind on a like. So whatever they had uh, that was personal effects, they leave. Um, um, as a as a thank you, um, which unbeknownst to them, um, it translates to um, similar to a a godly tribute. Um, so that is noted um, as they uh, head off um, in a, uh, a a southeasterly direction in the direction of Tunabar Holdfast um, with a spirit guide uh, on on one of their shoulders. Um, uh, as, as you see them leave in the distance, you see them receding, uh, further, uh, none of you see Korax any longer. Shit. Let's go. He's going to get himself fucking hurt. She says rather, like, <laughs> she says rather aggressively and, uh, she takes off running to catch up. Uh, did the rest of you say let's and, and, uh, Mina, do you follow suit? Uh, Mina uh, begins to follow, but um, before he leaves, he wants to grab a, some sort of canteen or something from someone and take a sample of the liquid. Um, okay, cool. Uh, I will give you an option here. Um, you can either take a sample of the liquid that is running off into the water and you'll have a diluted sample, uh, or you can uh, make a roll uh, and risk touching the sample to get a fresh, uh, a fresh sample from like the ground. Um, up to you. Um, Mina will go for the fresh sample. Uh, difficulty four, uh, speed roll. Uh, dexterity could apply here. Uh, possibly acrobatics or or nimble fingers for sewing. I I guess it could it could also apply. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, absolutely. Um, you you scoop up a portion of this, like you empty out a canteen, you scoop up a good portion of this. Um, you find uh, a, like clean, like pieces of wood and, and fragments of like the, the metal that was holding the forge together uh, to scrape this into there. Uh, and you have a small sample, um, uh, probably a few ounces of this fluid. Um, as you, you sure that's a good idea. Tighten this on there. Um, and Mino just looks at Sailor and says, uh, we, we don't know how long they've been doing it. Uh, maybe someone back in Samora can uh, work out what it was meant to do and how to counter it. They could try again. Fair enough. Uh, I no, will remind... I let's catch up to them. Gotcha. I will remind all of you, since you are currently fleeing the scene, um, uh, on the southern part, or sorry, the, the eastern part of the uh, the river, 
Um, there are still crates um, full of what you assume to be alchemical reagents um, that the Sleen and uh, um, uh, Taran were, were moving. Uh, not all of them exploded. Uh, only the ones near the actual thing. Um, but you all collectively haul ass after Korax. And Terry's, you are the first one to get there uh, as the other two stopped to take a, a, a sample here. Um, uh, Korax was not running, but he was moving at a quick pace. Uh, so you, at, at speed, uh, run towards him uh, and catch up fairly quickly. Uh, followed Felix shortly is by. Going to mark the location on this map, see if they can get some people out from somewhere to collect. The Perfect. Um, if yeah. He remembers. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. A- absolutely. Um, you, the two of you, uh, Mina and Salix, you also get there shortly after uh, Antares does. Before the others arrive, while they're still dealing with the Sleen, uh, we see Korax walking along with the grimoire open, and he's constantly trying to cast spells from it. He's trying to figure out why it doesn't work, and he's looking for an area where it kind of goes into a, a deep enough valley to to create a dam, is what he's looking for. But he's constantly just flicking through the book at a spell, trying to cast a anything, literally anything from the book mm-hmm. um, as he's marching along. So he's distracted by the time and Terry's yeah. catches up with him. Yeah. She's like yelling at him to, to, to stop. He doesn't uh, even hear her. Everything you cast, beautiful. everything you cast, you don't feel anything. Uh, this is like saying words out of any book off of any shelf. Uh, no power grows inside you. There's no tingle, no energy in the air. Um, as far as you can tell, <clears throat> believe it or not, this book seems to be inert. What are you doing going off by yourself? Does, she doesn't Terry like, sort of grab him on the shoulder or anything? Uh, yeah, Because he probably. would completely ignore her. He's constantly yeah. just flicking through the book. Yeah. As she does, Correct. she startles. And she, and she just grabs and kind of pulling back. Um, the, the book doesn't work. We, we need to stop the flow of the river. I, I was going to put a wall in the river. Yeah. To dam it off, but I can't do that. Why not? Because the book doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work. I, I've tried every spell I can find in here. It just doesn't do anything. Well, you said you didn't understand what it said. It doesn't make sense anymore. I don't, I don't understand. It's as if it's just a book. Okay, well, the problem at hand is we need to stop the flow of water. Correct? He nods. We're gonna have to freaking do it by hand. And she's got he like looks this down at the water. She's got like this anger, angry aura about her again, the way she used to. He, he looks down at the water. At this point, Mike, is the water still flowing with any sort of colors in it other than clear? Um, also that foam that we saw. Yeah. Um. There is there is enough discoloration um, for you to know that there is still uh, like it, it is diluting as it goes, um, obviously, but it is still perceptible where you are, uh, but barely. You know that another good twenty feet or so, you would never even know. Okay, I imagine it's kind of like oil on the surface of water. It's like a rainbow effect. It's kind of how yeah. I have it in my head. Yep. Um, and as he sees that, he says, "We need to go further. It's still here. We we need to go." And he turns and starts carrying on walking. And he starts to look. He's looking for it. If there's a forest or anything like that with trees that we can try and somehow get in the way of the water. That's what he's hunting for now. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, like my thought is like, we're literally going to have to start throwing like rocks, like big rocks into the water, like into a shallowy area to try and slow the flow. Um. Yeah, let me let me uh, pull you guys back onto the map here. Um, oh, what the fuck? Roll twenty. Be my friend. Cool. There we go. Um, cool. Uh, so you guys can see where you are. Um, you are in a gen general this way direction over here somewhere. Uh, as you are headed back south towards Samora, um, there are no large forests. There are small like 
copses of trees. Uh, but you realize that you have an apple cutting uh, dagger. Uh, Mina has a spear. Salitz has a crossbow, and Antares has a sword. And and while while powerful, uh, the sword is going to take a hell of a long time to cut down a tree. Um, you guys do not have the equipment to fell uh, fell uh, trees with any kind of speed um, uh, to build a dam of, of sorts. But yeah, so the reason he's looking for a forest is not necessarily to cut down trees, but mm. they should be fallen trees. He's just looking for large things that he can pull. Well, Mina can pull into the river. That's fair. Um, I will say in a in a small copse of trees, you find one uh, like standing deadfall. Um, at one, uh, one, uh, fallen, uh, tree. So you have, you have a tree you can topple over and drag, uh, and another one, um, not high enough to make a full dam, uh, but high enough to get you started. Uh, you know what I will also say, um, Sadlitz, uh, not Sadlitz, uh, actually, actually, Sadlitz, roll me a difficulty for intelligence you can get bonuses to hunting or survival or things like that. Difficulty for intelligence. Um, would identify or assess in danger or eye for detail work on that, I guess? Um, let me take a look at your skills real quick. Uh, eye for detail may. Um, travel skills would. Um... I'll say, so I'll say travel skills and eye for detail. So you can have two assets on that. So if you roll, if you roll travel skills, just put one additional asset for eye for detail. And it's difficulty four. Difficulty four. That's a Ooh. 20. Absolutely. Outstanding. Um, okay, cool. Uh, so this would ultimately be something Korax would know as the god of knowledge and as a nerd, um, but this is something that Sadlitz, like, intuitively knows. This may be something that Korax doesn't, like, it's not where your mind goes. Your mind went to damn, right? Um, Sadlitz, you have been out on hunts for weeks at a time. Um, uh, and, and not always is there fresh water and not always do you have enough water that you've brought with you. Uh, you know how to make rudimentary filters with sand, rocks, um, uh, uh, ash, uh, coal. Uh, so combined with these, these logs, if pulled out here, you could assemble some kind of filtration system, uh, across the river. Um, you have no idea if that would be strong enough to filter out, um, whatever this toxin is, uh, but it's better than not. Mm -hmm. It's worth the attempt. That's yeah. for sure. So you guys it's could, it down would be helpful too. right. You guys could, in essence, stack those logs exactly how Corax was, it was intending, you know, put a, put a stick on either side of them, stack a little log wall of, of, uh, of t t these two logs and then, um, like rocks, sand, charcoal, everything in front of those logs. So the water has to pass through all of that um, uh, to hopefully filter out some of that. Uh, it will take you the rest of the day to drag those logs out here to find rocks large enough to, you know, find sand um, able to be fine enough to be put in there. Um, but you guys can do that. Uh, it will just take you the rest of the day to do so. Salitz is going to start helping out with Korax, doing that while, while Korax and Mina, I guess, are doing the logs. Yeah, Mina would help with the logs and put them in position. Um, after that, he would suggest that uh, there were crates back at the other thing. The wood from the crates might help. Hmm. Korax looks like he's helping with the logs, but He's just a little guy holding the log, and Mina's carrying it. So it's like, I imagine it it's actually above Corex's shoulder, and Corex is just he's, he's, miming yeah, holding yeah. the log. It's that, it's that one friend who, like, one person's on one end of the couch and one person on the other end of the couch, and you grab the middle knowing you're doing nothing. Um, that... yeah. <laughs> no, Corex is pivot! Corex is middle pivot. couch guy. <laughs> 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Um, yeah, you guys, like I said, it, it, it's it's mostly uh, the, the knowledge you have, the the, the brawn uh, and, 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 and skill you have. Uh, so it's mainly just time. Um, uh, so it will take, like I said, the rest of the day to assemble this uh, with all the, the, the bits and pieces of nature. Um, so if you... Are you sending someone back to the camp uh, for the crates? Uh, once Mina's positioned the... Uh, logs and done the heavy lifting, he would go back and start bringing the crates. Okay. Uh, there are about... Okay. Uh, there are about a half dozen crates remaining on the opposite side uh, where the um, the Taran and Selene were. Um, you pick up the first one and it jingles um, uh, as they are full of glass vials. Uh, these appear to be the exact same crates that were uh, next to the alchemical whatever uh, that exploded. Um uh, and uh, so they are still full of, of alchemical reagents. There's still vials of liquid in here, um, but you can each, uh, I mean, the two of you, fairly strong people. Uh, I would say you can stack two boxes each. Um, so hold two boxes each. If you want to attempt to stack three, I'll take a might roll, uh, difficulty four from, from each of you. Um, you can easily stack two, but a third one um, would be a little bit more difficult, but that would be all of them if you stack all three. Mike, I do have a question. How many yeah. D100s would I have to roll? Because Salix would have to get into the water at least one point to do this. Um, We've gone a way is down. It because it's a 20. Uh, no, it's uh, because you've gone a ways down, it's diluted as mu as, as such. It's not a direct, um, you're not directly touching the, the liquid itself. Um, once it is diluted into the stream, um, it has a different purpose. Um, the function of of what they were doing is different than 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 what it did to you guys. Um, cool. Yeah. So the the two of you can stack all three boxes uh, easily uh, and navigate them back down to the river. Um, uh, and I'll say, you'll obviously have to move slowly, but you can get all six boxes back to Samora if you just take uh, take care in your travels. Uh, but you guys can easily take all six boxes. All six boxes are full uh, of of vials, uh, unlabeled multicolored vials of, of something um, uh, as you get back there. You see that the dam, uh, the rocks are, 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 are working, um, and I assume you see Korax on the opposite side of the dam looking at the water, sent, trying to sense for any sign of, of, of chemical residue. It, anyone watching Korax, and it's probably me most evident to Antares because she's currently in a similar position, he looks confused a lot of the times where... Often he's normal, mm -hmm. he knows everything, but he's a bit more confused because all of his divine shifts were in the book that no longer works. But he, like at times, he'll be he'll just stop, confused, look at things, and then walk off to go and do what he was thinking of doing. But it's taking him longer to catch on to what his plan was. Mm -hmm. Man, the 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 come down from the 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 drug of godhood is really. It's really those those DTs, yeah. man, are, are really kicking your ass. <laughs> I mean, he's 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 been a god for a little while. Yeah, you've been a god the longest. Uh, so the, the 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 detox from godhood is uh, it's really coming in hard. Um, Correct, his shit is no longer together. Yeah, uh, he has. Yeah, that's just true. At least you have all your fingers. That's that's true. Um, yeah, so you guys are back together. Um, there is. There's no obvious place to set up a camp here. Um, if, if here is where you want to camp, you guys are kind of on a relatively flat area with a river. Um, there is, like I said, a small copse of trees, maybe like 10 or so. Um, it would still not hide a, a fire very well unless you'd like dug, make it, made a dugout fire um, or kept it very small. Uh, but it is, it is nightfall. Um, you see the, the sun, uh, Avi, is cresting behind the, uh, the mountains um, and you guys are... We'll be soon plunged into darkness. Um, and you are still probably a half day, if not more, away from Samora. Uh, definitely more if you're carrying all six boxes of um, uh, of, of potions. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Um, I recommend we rest for a little while and then continue on and get closer to the city. So at least we can return before dawn, hopefully. I don't uh, think we have the luxury to wait. Um, Mina looks at Korax and Sidelitz and all the blood on them uh, and 
kind of just goes, are you both okay to keep moving? And she like kind of turns, not. like paces and like hands on hips and she's like looking at them expectantly. Or actually not. Is this sort of evening time when we're sitting yeah. down looking to make a camp or before? Sorry, I'm confused. The time. It is uh, evening time. It is about to be like almost total. It's it's like dusk right now. Um, so what you guys decide to do is up to you. Yeah, Cor Corax will be sitting on the grass. Um, that's there. Um, and he just nods. Uh, one one of them got away on on the side of the river I was on. Um, should we wait to? See that uh, this this dam doesn't get disturbed. Oh, well, I think he's going back to uh, alert his superiors that their little project got foobarred. And she kind of surveys the their dam they're making. I think this is hidden enough. They would have to literally stumble right upon it to see it, right? It's not like it's a huge, like, construction. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of the logs okay. is completely submerged underwater, and the other yeah. one only uh, is only, like, you know, log height. So maybe 10 inches um, uh, above the water. So, like, yeah, unless, if you, unless you're walking towards it. And at, at nighttime, you would never see this. Uh, in broad daylight, it, it's far easier to see, but you have at least the rest of the night um, to mm -hmm. filter out those toxins. So at least if we get rid of these and bring them back with us, they can't continue doing what they were doing. Yeah, I mean, I'm just not okay. Um, well, uh, I'm I'm ready when you are. Right. Well, mechanically, I'd like to at least rest. If we all need to uh, get back some hit points so we can do our recovery rolls. Sure. I only need 10 minutes because my first two recovery rolls are one action, so. But I think some of you might need an hour. Yeah, I mean, you guys can take an hour. There's no. Yeah, absolutely Mina fine. didn't take any damage. He's only used a bit of effort, so. Okay. Um, he... Yeah, so I would. I, I, Terry's just needs her 10 minute one. So. Okay. That is what I will do. Narratively, if you want to go. Straight at the 10 minutes, that's fine. Forex, happy for him not to recover. I'm okay, okay. with just 10 minutes. Okay. All right, looks like everyone's taking a 10 minute. Corax, you can spend your, your one round in 10 minutes if you'd like. It looks like I've used it. I don't know. Uh, when. Which one is checked? 10 minutes. Uh, then then you are on that. the 10 minute one. Ah, okay. Uh, Mina hadn't used oh. his um, rapid recovery, so he used the rapid and the 10. my action immediately after uh, I had that one-on-one -on -one with that last guy. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, you guys recover a small amount of hit points. You take a, sh a short little rest here uh, to catch your breath and plan. Uh, you're headed south. Uh, to back. Are you Are you trying to get back towards, uh, back into Samora tonight? Um, if we can, if you're allowing us. Because yeah. like, we're... Because if we each carry a box and Mina and, I, Mina and I take two, then we, in theory, shouldn't be too hindered. Yeah, we you'll be slightly hindered, one. but not as hindered as you were carrying three, a yeah. three stack. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, if you if you offload one of them to uh, Sadlitz and one of them to Korax, uh, you guys can easily get back. Um, uh, it'll it'll take a while. Like I said, it's it's a little bit more than half a day. Um, so you would be the wee hours of the morning, like three, four o'clock in the morning is when you'd be getting back. So shortly before dawn, um, as you do so, um, uh, but yeah, you can easily get back tonight without any, any issues. And I think at some point, well, he's lost, Corax has lost his divine shifts as well. So I was actually going to suggest like at any point, if she would have like touched Corax, he would have sensed it, or at least sensed something was wrong or off, but I don't know. Without his, he wouldn't sense anything. He wouldn't sense yeah, anything off. Uh, he's too off to notice how off you are. Yeah. Um, 
Cool. Uh, so we will we will end this episode as the four of you make your way back to Samora. Uh, we will pick up in episode thirty three when you are back inside the safety of the city, uh, and uh, we will see the outcome of what you have done uh, and what the NPCs have done, and perhaps depending on how next weekend goes uh, with the one shots, maybe we'll see what the other crew has done. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if we can get that crew going. Uh, so that is it for episode uh, 32, The Plague of Despair. And boy, was it. Um, <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that was a journey and a half. <laughs> that, was, that was rough. That was a rough time. Uh, I loved it. Uh, we got we got adorable little battle maps with adorable little guys on them. Uh, we got to see uh, G genuinely upset about her lot in life. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah. Uh, and we saw a real life version of uh, of of say let's say one of you won me outside, bro. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, outside. yeah. Uh, so uh, as always, if you like what we do here and you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is like these fine folks over on our Patreon. Link down below. While you're down there, join us in the Discord. Be a part of the community. Be a part of the conversation. Uh, but for now, let's go around, do our outduction, so we can get the hell out of here and do our after show. Uh, we will start with, uh, we'll start with Matt. Matt, who are you? Where can we find you on the internet? And what are you up to, buddy? Uh, Matt Orton D playing a Salitz in the Patreon campaign. You'll find me the Patreon one shots. It's a variety of different characters of various games. And what I'm up to, I don't know. Lack of sleep, uh, work. That's and fair. You can find me in Mike's Discord. <laughs> That's basically it. That seems like a relatable lack of sleep and work is what we're all up to, I think. Um, so uh, <laughs> absolutely here for it. Uh, G, same questions. Who are you? Where can we find you? What are you up to? Uh, hello. I am G, a friendly neighborhood lightning invoker. You'll find me in Anime Gaming Discord on X still. Um, I call it Twitter. <laughs> yeah, the I don't think anyone calls formerly it known X. as Twitter. On X. <laughs> X. <laughs> oh Jesus! Okay. I'm tired, y'all. And uh, yeah, you'll catch me in the Patreon one shots next week. I'm going to be we're going to be doing a fun little play test of Mike's little module that I'll be GMing for Carnival of Screams, uh, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern, and in Age of Always for Atari Twilight. Next episode we don't have scheduled yet, but we will let you all know. And I think that is it for now. Oh, and you come back on Monday because that's Ask a Lich. So I'll be there in chat directing questions. And yeah. G's just out here doing my job for me right now. <laughs> Telling <laughs> yeah. all, all the various shows. Um, uh, yeah, Ask Lich is on well, Monday. You don't do it. You don't I do, do occasionally. Uh, yeah. And uh, we, we are currently <laughs> scheduling Age of Always. Yes. Um, so that will be that will be out soon. Um, mm. Cool. That being said, another character from the Age of Always, Chris. Who are you? Where can we find you on the internet? What are you up to? Uh, I'm Chris AK Necro. You can find me in you know, Gaming Discord. Uh, Age of Always when is unknown. Uh, Patreon one shots, but not next weekend. Um, and here on the rise. Hell, the freaking things. yes. Uh, and last but not least, Norm. Who are you? Where can we find you? What are you up to? I'm Normal Snow. You can occasionally find me in the Discord and in the Patreon campaign and one shots. Hell yeah! Uh, and as we said, uh, Monday uh, is the uh, is the Ask Lich our, our monthly Q and A, uh, which has been doing uh, gangbusters over on our Patreon. Uh, uh, sorry, over on our YouTube. Uh, Thursday we have a Shattered Crown. Uh, and Saturday we have a double of one shots, uh, one of which is G doing a play test of Carnival of Screams, and the other one is me doing something, uh, which I will know soon. Uh, as soon as I know what the players are, I'll know what we're doing. Uh, I'm that being said, Iquin so far. Yeah, that's it. So I haven't got two of you so far. Uh, mm -hmm. That being said, uh, that is it for us. That is it for the rise. Uh, we will see you guys next month for more of these godly shenanigans. Uh, so from all of us to you guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.